dream, man. This is awesome. You, you get to meet your heroes that you, they're still your heroes, but you grow up watching and, and performing and then just to be around golf, which is very sacred to me. It's a way of relaxation. It's a way of life. And uh, it's, I don't know, man. I'm just honored to be here. When you, when you hear people say, waste management, Phoenix Open, uh, it's not good for golf. What do you say? I tell them to watch when Tiger Woods hit a hole in one and watch the celebration. And that's what golf's about. It's a celebration. I mean, just watch that and tell me you don't get excited. I, I love it. And I used to live here in Scottsdale. So one of my last memories with my father who passed, we came out here and walked and just to spend time with him, you know, is one of my last memories is awesome. Yeah. Um, the, so I'll tell him to get lost. Yeah. That's, <laughs> it's, it's a good tagline. Yeah. Um, what are your expectations as a player? I mean, you play, and this means a lot to you, but do you try to ratchet things down and just have fun? I do. When I first got started, like I think everybody else, you get real serious about it, and then you realize I'm not that good. <laughs> so I come out, and it's more fellowship for me. I get yeah. to hang with my buds, and I meet uh, new people that become lifelong friends that live in different areas of the world, and I, I learn. Is this as close to golf getting to sort of that concert feeling that you've ever come across? I mean, this is... I haven't gotten on 16 yet, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. To be continued. One. To be continued. Yeah. Are you already thinking about that when you teed off? Of course you do. You yeah. can't help but think yeah. about it. I mean, yeah. good Lord, you drive up and there's a stadium over there. I'm like, yeah. are the Stones playing? <laughs> <laughs> Collective salt. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I know the answer to this. Falcons or Patriots? Mad. <laughs> All I can say, brotherhood, yeah. rise up. Rise up. Rise Good up. luck. All right. Thank you, Good man. luck this week. Good luck this week. Give me my ball back. No, go along. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Matty Ice would be proud. Welcome back to Morning Drive, and boy, do we have a treat for you. For the record, the band members of Collective Soul rock as people on stage and, yes, even on the golf course. Well, the multi-platinum quintet known as Collective Soul was born in the 90s during the rise of grunge and alternative rock. And over the last 20 plus years and amidst seven number one singles, the group has helped shape and define the alternative rock landscape with a lot of guitar and a lot of attitude. And I had a lot of fun when I recently spent some time with the band. Many bands have dreams and aspirations to rule the airwaves. Collective Soul actually did it, with seven number ones on the Billboard charts in the 90s. Their biggest hit, Shine, not only became a modern rock staple, but a soundtrack that resonated within the mainstream. been a band for over two decades. Right. Give us a brief history of the band. It was Halloween, I can remember that, and I was like, well, let's get a band together and have a party. We can invite some girls. Yeah. So it started as a Halloween party. It's always about the girls, right? Getting Halloween the girls. Halloween party in the basement. Oh, that's certainly a large percentage of the inspiration. And then Shine kind of took on a life of its own, and we were signed and on the road with Aerosmith and playing Woodstock. There's three of you here. Raise your hand if you're a golfer. You gotta go. All right, good. I like you're wearing it. a Golf Channel shirt. I hope so. How has golf influenced your lives? Sometimes when you're in your environment, just the lights and sound, everything, everybody kind of treat you a little different. When you're on the golf course, it's even playing ground, especially when they see you swing. I've met so many wonderful people in my life that are lifers that just meeting on the golf course. After meeting with the band, I couldn't resist teeing it up with frontman Ed Rowland and see his golf game firsthand at Orlando's own Metro West Golf Club. We'll go to the white tees. Okay. 
Ladies first. Yes, ma'am. So, Ed, tell me, how did you get started in golf? This is the coolest story ever, I kid you not. Stay. Hey, we were playing with Van Halen, and Eddie Van Halen came on the bus one day. He had a cigarette, and he's like, we're playing golf tomorrow. I'm like, you're Eddie Van Halen, I'm gonna do whatever you tell me to do. Literally, the first time I got to play golf was with Van Halen. He said, I'm gonna give you advice right now. Go. Get out, there you said, go. play golf. He said, if, even if you bite, but get out and play golf. Took his advice. Truly, I'm the worst golfer that's got to play the nicest courses <laughs> in the world. Buck, 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 buck. Well, how often do you get out and play? Well, there was a point where we were on tour, wake up in the morning, work out, and then go play 18 holes. My tour manager would go with me, we'd come back, and the guys would still be asleep in the bus. So I did that for about a couple of years, and then it started wearing on me a little bit. Getting better. <laughs> Advancement. Just, just hang the pose right there, Ed. It's almost the land. That's pretty. There you go. Thanks. Are you nervous on stage nice. before a performance? No. No. But no. on the golf course, I have been the on the first tee. My wife one time, we were new tee, and I got the room right above the first tee, and I made a videotape. And I remember thinking, it's like the first time I was taking it serious, and, and I was like shaking, and I shanked it to there, and I could hear the caddy go, oh, God. And I just didn't even ask for a club. I just went up and hit it, I part out. And the guy was like, oh, my God. So that's, I, I don't get nervous doing anything, golf. Ed is a great golfer. He's had some good shots, uh, some not as good shots. I've only had 13 on the first two holes. You're supposed to get two at least. Now I got a shot. <laughs> and now, after six years, they are releasing their long-awaited album, See What You Started By, continuing. And yes, we've got Ed Rowland and Jesse Triplett in Studio A right now to talk about the new album, but also talk about golf. First, let's talk about that title, See What You Started By, continuing. What's the story behind this? You know, 20 years ago, we started, and we took a little break. Felt like we got our second win and just mm -hmm. wanted to go back to what we started, you know, playing rock and roll. Invite the girls over for a party or something, <laughs> you know. Jesse's single. He's allowed to do that. There we go, Jesse. Very, very cool. All right. So you guys have been together for a long time. Lots of time to get to know each other in the recording studio, on the stage, on the golf course. What song on the new album would you say represents a round of golf with you guys? Exposed. Exposed? Why is that? <laughs> our weaknesses. <laughs> Definitely. <Cool. laughs> All right, so we got three-time PGA Tour winner Chris DeMarco in here right now. Chris, you ready to give him a little lesson? Sure. Now, no, what you, part? Oh, you're hitting, I'm going to tell you what yeah. you're doing wrong. Take it away. Uh -oh. You're going to stand right there, Jesse? swing first, and then you can the tell him what we need to work on? <laughs> so as I told Chris earlier, we have not swung a club since May. Just, oh, no, I can't do this. I need those for later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, well, let's check out this swing first, and then you can tell him what he needs to work on. Just don't shank it. Sounds good. Yeah. It's always a good start. <laughs> that was that was not bad. Looks good so far. Anything in particular fat. you struggle with? So, golf. Golf. Just golf in general. <laughs> golf in general. <laughs> Your handicap is the game itself, you were saying, but that didn't look bad at all. Chris, what did you notice about his No, swing? the setup was good. I mean, I think, obviously, it, he's come in here, he hasn't swung a club. <laughs> and we're like, here, hit some drivers. Um, you know, so... I would say that, no, everything was fine. I mean, he, it, the tempo was good. I think his setup was good. His ball position was good. Okay. Was it? I just get out and play more. Play more. That's what right. I like. Right. That, you, manager, you hear that? You hear that? Yes. <laughs> get oh. out and play more. Now, Mike, what you role hear does that? Mike Lee, you hear that? in your downtime? How often are you guys able to tee it up when you're out there on tour? Not much. Not mm. much? No, okay. not at all. It, you, I used to do it when I first started playing. I got, like, golf is so addictive. We were on the road and I took my clubs. So every morning, our, our tour manager, was a golfer too, so we'd park the, find a golf course, park, park the bus, get up, play the first round, you know, give them tickets, t-shirts, right. and everything. <laughs> right. And then do a show, and the older you get, you have to kind of uh, save that energy for the show. <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh. Well, Chris, what would you R change about Ed? Uh, right now, no, nothing. I just say play nothing? more. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Oh, cool. He really, I mean, the setup's good. Let's Ball check out that good. His alignment's time. good. His grip's good. Yeah. All right. It's just a matter of get play more. That was better. Not too shabby. Jesse, you want Ed to have all the fun or you want to take some swings as well? In the Come simulator? on, Jesse, get in there. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Gotta, gotta let you do a little work here. <laughs> <laughs> gotta now, Jesse, how it. long have you been playing the game of golf? Well, my uh, <laughs> golf is big in my family. My brother's a caddy up in the Hamptons in New York. Oh, and, oh nice. And um, my cousin is actually Kevin Kisner's coach. 
Oh, Get great. Well, there you go. Nice. So you should be able to hit a good shot. Here. No, that's not. <laughs> He's setting himself up here. I'm the guitar player in the family for a reason. Let's get back. Let's get back. Ed made up his game a little better than he was saying. <clears throat> oh, Lord. See how Jesse does. Four. Well, All right, let's try that again. We're going to get him a right mulligan, now. right? There the are good, guests the in the studio, eh, Jesse? You, you get a mulligan. The good news is for you is it didn't register. <laughs> that would be the good news. <laughs> You're laughing over here, but we might oh, need to take it, another swing, too. Of a band. You give each other the I don't hear it. We do have bets going on all the time to play golf together, so. <laughs> 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 One more. Let me get Are you it. sure this is a friend of <laughs> yours over here? I'm disgracing my family right now. This is that. Okay. I know Steve's at home. It's DJ's at home. They're like, that, that is not my brother and son. Yeah. I've had a sore throat for months. Let's get your, one more swing out of Jesse. Let's give him another chance. You want to take Let's your Mr. T? Keep your eye on the Chains ball. Up. Oh, now he's angry. Watch this. Okay. It's like David. <laughs> well, like he's going to the beach, and it's not a bad place to go. The good thing is, these guys know how to play guitar. They're performing. Their tour kicks off tonight at House of Blues right here in Orlando with more than 30 stops there across the nation. Check out CollectiveSoul.com so you can check them out. But then we're going to help you all out as we work with these guys, too, in Studio A with Fred Funk. He just wrapped up a week at Pebble Beach for the first T event. He's going to help you flight your wedges. Guys, we got a little bit of work to do. Yeah. Wait a second, I'm going to